So I recently switched to Podman and I, I'm not saying that I don't like Docker, I actually love Docker, but Podman does have some advantages and for those of you who are working with things like Kubernetes, there's some really big wins by using Podman that I just think are worth making the switch in the development process. So today we're going to cover installing Podmon on an Ubuntu uh, 20.04 and start off with logging in as root in my case because I, I like to save myself the time of typing sudo every line. Uh, we'll run through the basic one which is make sure that your installation is up to date so do an apt update and apt upgrade before kicking off any additional installs because lots of people complain that oh it's not working for me or this is a problem because of and then i get these error messages and most of the times it's because their packages are out of date so we'll just run at the beginning get the latest version now once the update's completed it should be just a straightforward process of typing in a couple of commands. Now, if you're worried about the length of what I'm about to paste on the screen, don't worry about it. There will be a link in the description whereby you can go take it directly off GitHub. So you can just copy and paste yourself. So what we're going to do is basically update or add to the sources uh, the initial or the original installation sources. So I can just do an apt install pod one. So there's just two commands there. One is to update the sources, the other one to import the key. Now we're going to do a quick update just to make sure the sources are all up to date. And as it says, packages are up. Good. And so we're going to do a, a quick installation. And I do mean quick because even though we do have a few dependencies and other packages that will get pulled in as part of the install, which is quite normal for most packages whenever you're installing, they have dependencies that developers have included for other things that they need. Um, it's not going to be a huge amount of time because as you can see the package itself is quite small. So this is actually running in real time on my VM. I haven't sped this part of the video up at all just to give you an idea on how relatively quick it is. Now once it's installed we're going to obviously check that the version is there and that it's the correct version or latest version and again at the time of filming. So if you're watching this a year from now or two years it is obviously is going to be a different version by then so in this particular case um, I'm just going to go ahead and now check the version so that we can confirm everything is fine so we're just going to quickly run and check that the versions now basically for anyone who's been used to working with docker you can take the word docker and replace it with podmon and the rest is the same so if you do podmon ps you'll get the output. If you do podmon dash dash version, then you'll get the version. So 3.3.1 is what we've got at the moment. I'm going to log out as root. And I'm going to show you, I can run podmon version again and get the output as a regular user. And what I like best is I can run any of the commands as a regular user. So I'm not tied in to needing to sudo all the time. So you can see here, I'm as my regular user, um, I can do a podmon search for Debian and I get an output. I don't get told that, you know, you need to sudo or that kind of thing. So I already have that preference over um, regular Docker. So I can also grab regular Docker containers. So if I do a podmon pull and then here I'm going to use a Microsoft repository. Um, I'm actually going to pull the MS SQL 2019 latest build, just to prove a point. Uh, this will still be an Ubuntu image container, by the way, so this is not like a Windows container running on Linux. No, 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 this is a, a Linux container running on Linux. It just happens to have Microsoft SQL Server installed on it, that's all. Um, so it's going to go ahead and pull this. As you can see, um, again, I have not sped up the footage. This is how fast it just happens to be working for me. Your results may vary depending on internet connection and the power of your computer. But what you can see here is I'm pulling a regular Docker container into Podmon. No issues, no complaints, no, oh, this is not something that was developed for this. No, it just, it's fine. And now it's just going to extract this. Now this is the bit which obviously takes a little bit of time because you're unzipping those files and it's not clear exactly what's going on in the background and there's no hourglass so it can be a little bit wary to be perfectly honest um, but don't worry this this is just how it works 
and you can see it's finished. So I'm just going to get rid of this reminder to update. And what I'm going to do is say, okay, uh, let's check the images. So I do a podmon images. Again, anyone who's working with Docker, you'll remember Docker images, same thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and spin this image up. So I'm going to put in there all the command variables it expects. And now I can do a podmon ps and I can see running containers. And there's my running container. Exactly the same as if I was running Docker, but without the need for me to sudo. So that's already one advantage. There are a few more that I'm going to show probably in later videos. But for now, this is how to install Podmon on Ubuntu 20.04.